Hey, what's up? And we're live. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Sweet. So the VOD, the VOD begins now. So there's okay. the camera I have to address. So even for uh, the people who have not joined yet, we can pop the chat overlay in here once it comes in. Uh, you're tuned in to the first on-stream liquid-cooled Motif Monument 2.0 with booster backplate shot for the top camera. Booster backplate, <laughs> yes. And also a reveal of the next Yule Beast chassis by Eric, which is the, oh, look, I can, look at that. Woo, which is the Calypso. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. We get to play with some computers and uh, answer some questions and, yeah, do fun stuff. I'm really happy about this mouse pad now. How are you, Eric? I'm doing I'm doing great. I uh, had a long day. I did a lot of Atlas-related stuff. Uh, for anyone that ordered an Atlas, uh, they are most likely going to be shipping out next week. So nice. the, okay. I'm working out some kinks with the phone, but we're, we're getting it. Uh, live. Okay, I'm going to share out quickly the live links to all of the different places which we are currently live. Is there's a lot of places. <laughs> we a lot are live of places, a lot right? of places. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Why don't we... Oh, yeah, let me change the title of the stream as well. Well, I set up these last little things. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to kind of give a rundown of what the booster backplate is and features and sort of the approach if you want to go AIO versus custom loop? Sure, absolutely. The booster backplate is, I think, the intelligent evolution of the monument. So I was really reluctant to add water cooling or anything extra to the monument because in my mind, it was always just kind of the quintessential, very ideal air-cooled mini ITX computer. And there was, I think, a lot of beauty to that. But the more people asked me, the more that I wanted to challenge myself and the more that I kept, especially people on the Discord, kept uh, challenging me and challenging me to see to come up with something. Uh, so that was the, all of that led up to creating the uh, booster backplate. So the booster backplate comes in two versions. There's a version A and a version B. Uh, the version A, it has just two circular cutouts. The version B has a much more modern elongated cutout which is the version Tanner's using. That version will allow you to mount AIOs in a mostly one configuration, but you aren't limited to a specific AIO, which is a really big problem when you're designing something really, you know, that's pushing the boundaries of what you can really do in a small form factor. Uh, I didn't want to make something that was only compatible with one specific thing. So created the AIO. Um, Personally, I like the I like the version A better with the two perfect round cutouts. Uh, if I was going to make a custom loop, I would definitely use that one. Um, I, you know, obviously with the with the with any sort of AIO or custom or any sort of AIO when you're um, mounting the A the AIO, it has to basically mount this way to the back plate. So if your back plate is going here. It's going to have to mount like this because the tubes have to come out um, towards the motherboard, not away from the motherboard. But if you're using a custom loop, you can use any sort of 90 degree fitting to make the loop go any which way you want. So that was the that was a big uh, a big reason between having two different versions of the same product. Sweet. Yeah. That was perfect because I just had, uh, I just had enough time to <laughs> do. Uh, uh, hold on, just had enough time to write all the things I needed to write. Oh, perfect. 
Boom. Let's see, delete. Bam. Boom. Fire. Yay! There you go. We've made the post. It's out, it's out in the world now. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So, nice, 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 nice. I love that. Oh, that relic. That soon to be relic. The EVT yeah. relic. Yeah. Here, Eric, if I could be so kind as to ask you to answer once they come in, and they will, we know they will, the Instagram questions. We are going live on Instagram as well, and we'll do a. Uh, there you go. We'll see. We'll see if I'm dropping dropping frames to the rest of the world. If you tune in <laughs> our own Instagram account on your phone to answer questions, and you'll be able to see if we're lagging or not. Sweet. Okay, well, I'm gonna get building. I'm gonna have a little bit of water. No coffee? Is it too late for coffee? It's too late for coffee. I was thinking of grabbing one at five, but we're a little too late now. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start building. So I have to harvest. <laughs> I have to harvest. I have my harvest PC <laughs> hanging out, <laughs> hanging out over here on uh, below. So watch this. Watch. I'm gonna do some magic, and it's gonna rise from the ashes a limited time to do some setup but this is great this is quality <laughs> content oh you know what i can do though eric watch this let me say even though you got us this account i can just i can just hold on hold on see ah, i can okay. i can oh all right hey guys what's going on the uh I'm, i want to hear some instagram questions it should be rolling in. Can you see the Instagram questions from where you are? Mm, no, but well, you'll need to find a way, Monsieur. <laughs> Somehow, the, uh... one way or another. Um, I'll see them. I'm gonna start coming in. The good news is my last-minute changes I have to make here to my my harvest case are coming on. Much easier than I thought. Let's see what's going on. Who's here on Instagram? A couple of people are here on Instagram to see the water cold monument. You know what I could do though is I could just mount the AIO first. I could start mounting it up first. You could do anything you want. There's no I might do no that. Right yes, wrong way to it. build this. There's no right or wrong way. That's my favorite thing about building with the monument is that there's not really, can't do it wrong. You know, we have like instructions. If it's your first time building, uh, there are sort of detailed instructions in the manual. If you have any questions or you're not sure, but just know that there isn't really a wrong way to do it. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I was uh, I was really sad to hear about hear about the EVGA news. I know we're gonna have to talk about it at some point, but I wanted to bring out my uh, my 980 Ti hybrid. This was like the first card that I first high end card that I bought myself, um, and it was actually one of it was it went on one of my very first mods that I did. Uh, it was a stainless steel, um, kind of like core P3 sort of like wall mount. Um, and uh, this was this was on it. It was the first time I actually made a vertical GPU mount too, um, which was cool. The uh, Ryan says legendary card. Yeah, this is. I remember when uh, I remember when I first booted up The Witcher with this. I mean, it was like struggling to do like. 24 fps or something but like it was so cool at the time like i remember that feeling um it's so fresh uh i just showed the uh i'm gonna switch myself back here to main i just showed the stream the uh original original backplate that still comes with it not taking okay. anything away just adding things Oh wait, I'll put you back here for a second. I, I need a I need an extra screw. You need another minute? 
Yeah, need my hex. Need my hex bit. Kenko label and tag says, "Oh God, I'm so late." You're not late, dude. Phone, you've uh, you've uh, you're just in time. You're just in time, guys. For anyone who has gotten a monument, who will be getting an atlas, or who plans on purchasing a calypso, uh, Kenko label and tag made the most awesome go. stickers for uh. Oh, for those stickers. and it's maybe Tanner I'll show you guys it's they're really really cool um Tanner's also the one that sort of worked on the design and did all that sort of stuff with it so we got to give him a little credit for this there's the sticker it's the lovely sticker mm -hmm. yeah it has such a cool I honestly didn't want to stick it on because i wanted to give everyone the pleasure of sticking it themselves <laughs> <laughs> things that only only true i would say that's an enthusiast thing that's just like uh that's what is the category for that oddly satisfying yeah <laughs> i think so the ryan says that was my first and last sli experience with the 980 ti yeah yeah the uh i did they have, so you could still SLI 10 series, right? They didn't, they didn't do the RTX 2000. That's when they did the, uh, the NV link is, is that what it is? The one that mm, is. I thought, I thought NV link began with 3000. Maybe yeah, with 3000. I mean, that's even sadder then because that means like, it's like literally SLI has just been, has gone unsupported. Um, yep. Which actually makes me think, is that like in NVIDIA, did NVIDIA purposely sort of just like- Ax it for some reason? Yeah, well, it's like from what we learned from the LTT video, like their EVGA or they inferred EVGA, a bunch of board partners came out with dual GPU cards. They had them ready, like they were good. The, the research was done and nvidia was like nope can't do it i'm like okay i mean it's there like it's you know it's their thing they can do what they want with it cool okay i am i'm beginning to mount this puppy up how's my where's my camera angle at let's put me put me up here bring you back to focus yeah there, yeah, there we go sweet so I'm going to go like so. I'm just going to honestly, I think the easiest way to do it is actually so nice. You know, this is the first time. It's my first time water cooling a PC in over a decade, which is fun. But also, this is the first time where I'm not um, I'm not building it like just, I, I haven't done carpet. Okay, I haven't been that bad, but I have done hardwood floor a number of times. <laughs> so, oh, hey, we got, oh, nice. The question's all coming in. Cool. Look, we can just pop it up, pop it up there on the... Uh, Boom. Love it. <laughs> there you go. This is cool. I love that. Okay, nice. What's up, Tom? Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Sweet. Uh, okay. Wow, I've, I feel like such a noob. Like, I honestly haven't mounted so long. Okay, I know the next thing is the fans. We're going to get those. <laughs> Hey, Beezlebub's here. Hey, Beezlebub. I can't wait to see your finished build. Honestly, it's one of the most... I was actually just thinking about those gauges you have for the, the voltage and how cool that's going to be because it's analog. Like, one of one yeah. of the things that's that's so, like, I've always... I, I, not because I turn my nose up, but I've always thought that the LCD displays within the case are so cool, except the nature of how often the motherboard and windows will actually give those readouts means that it's still something that's like 
you know, like it's like just like you enter a game, for example, your boost clock goes from like the hundreds to the thousands, right? From idle mm -hmm. to, to active. So it doesn't look, it's not the same. Like it, it's almost like people put them in because they think, oh, it'll be cool. Kind of like, you know, you see the revs go up with the car, but that's gradual, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd love, I'd love to see when those gauges are actually turned on, how that works. Okay. So Eric, I'm assuming you're sick bagging. <laughs> a, this is my mounting hardware for the fans. <laughs> I haven't even yeah the lot and the last AIO that I used was from ages ago as well, wow. so you might have to guide me through. I I'll do my best. Let me move the the let me move this here. Hold on, poor Instagrams just like people keep popping into the Instagram. They're like, what's going on? Where's the stream? <laughs> Come to the mainstream Instagram. That's where things are happening. You know what? Actually, I think what we should do while I while I fiddle with this is I think we should check in with what I'm doing periodically. Yes, these are what I was looking for. The long ones, the long screws. Um, I think we should check in with me periodically, and I think we should we should jump into some Calypso stuff. What do you think? Okay, we can do that. Okay, sweet. We can do that. Makes Let's me make bigger. Big screen. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So Calypso. Calypso. Uh, which should I show you guys first? I have two. You have two. two. Uh, yeah. Let's let's hear like sort of the story behind it, and maybe like the like the gap that it's that it's filling and all that. Okay. All right. So. Uh... Hmm. How do I wanna? How do I want to start this story? I'm actually very interested in how you want to start this story. Because we sort of just were like, yeah, we need it. But you're kind of on the spot. like Tofast, what's the name backstory? Well, I think Tanner Tanner has the name backstory back. I, I, I went and Wikipedia some <laughs> Greek Greek mythology. And I thought, I thought Atlas, because it was, even, even though it wasn't going to be just a shrunken Atlas, it was kind of in that same vein. I thought that was really cool. And I, I thought about it first from like Atlas and, you know, Atlas carrying the globe on his, on his shoulders. And I was thinking about like, you know, different words relate to that. I did a little word cloud and then I was like, well, instead of trying to uh, make something creative myself, like, let's see what other words are related to that and that's kind of where it where it came from it sounded yeah. good calypso sounded good as well i it's it's when tanner told me that it was a nymph that calypso was a nymph i was like all right we're down that's it it has to be it has to be atlas's atlas's daughter and it's also a nymph are you kidding me how it can be more perfect the uh so the idea of calypso has been around for a long time. Ever since I made the Atlas, people have been asking, why don't you make like a mini Atlas? So I'm like, there's, you know, there's, we have the monument. Do I really want to make another mini ITX case? And as time went on, the demand for the mini Atlas continued and I started more and more to see it as a as something that I could get excited to build in. Um, and once I kind of got excited about it, excited about designing it, well, designing it was actually really easy at that point because um, I was super into it. So lo and behold, Grand reveal, the grand reveal of this is Calypso. Holy crap! Rev. I don't actually remember what revision this is at this point. I think this is probably this is the third 3.5 prototype, uh, but it's probably 10 or 20th revision at this point. Um, 80ish plus. <laughs> All right, 80ish plus is. Uh, I just want to acknowledge that I was the only one that solved the art riddle. 
Yes, you were my friend. Yes, you were. <laughs> ADH Plus also gave me some really awesome feedback, and I want to give him credit where credit is due. Um, he gave a lot of feedback on this, but the best feedback he gave me is, says, Eric, why don't you use the PEM standoffs that you use on the monument on Calypso? And at first I was like, I was like, that's stupid. I don't want to do that. And I thought about it. I was like, man, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, dude. That was a really good, that was a really, really good suggestion. Um, the, uh, <laughs> another, another piece of, uh, another piece of wisdom that ADH plus also, uh, suggested, um, that I reluctantly, reluctantly realized was a really good idea was all of the buttons on Calypso. So I rotate the case a little bit. So these four holes, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Those are all power button holes. Originally, I was going to use a 5 eighths power button, the same one that we use on the monument. But I realized that a 3 quarter inch button is the exact same hole size that you would need for most of the popular pass-through fittings, which is something that ADH Plus also recommended, which I got to give credit for. It was a really good idea. So these four buttons here, if you do not want to, you know, I mean, realistically, you can only put a button in one of those holes. But if you wanted to use the other ones for pass-through fittings uh, for any sort of custom loop, you could absolutely do that. And it would be really cool. <laughs> the... Uh, so Calypso is really supposed to be a really, really flexible ITX platform. I didn't, I wanted to create something that sort of transcended the common pitfalls that you find with ITX platforms, which is a lot of those are just common limitations to working in a small form factor. And it's not necessarily the fault of any you know, specific sort of design or anything like that. It's just that you can only do so much with things that are inside a box. But if you allow people to build outside the box, like you can with the Atlas, well, you can go a lot farther and you can push your designs to wherever you like it or bring them back in to wherever you feel more comfortable if you want something smaller. And Calypso lets you do exactly that. It lets you build the computer how you want to build it, not how someone is telling you to build it. Um, this is a open platform. This is a canvas for you to make your own art on. Uh, that is true for the Atlas. This is absolutely even more true for the Calypso. The, there are some other um, common features that... Uh, are shared across both Calypso and the Atlas. Um, I'm using a very similar style uh, uh, GPU mount here um, that will allow you to actually capture four different or three different positions. So in extended out like it is right now, where you can see it's really, really close to this um, water cool radiator. Um, this will accommodate a four slot GPU, which as you guys know, in the RTX 4000 series, that is going to be a now very real build constraint to most, most medium ish to small form factor PCs. Uh, you, if you do not want to build something that far out, there are multiple positions where you can physically move this bracket in. Specifically, if you want to be using an armature GPU mount, if you want to use an armature GPU mount, you can really, you can pull this in as far as you want, and it's going to allow you to, to really control exactly where that GPU is sitting over your motherboard. Uh, I know that's important to some people for aesthetic reasons, but that's also really important for simple constraints like how long is your PCIe extender? Where are, you know, where is your hard tubing going? Um, you know, I, having the flexibility to move that exactly, to move that GPU um, exactly where you want 
or within a couple of degrees of freedom at least is pretty important. Um, PSU mounting was another. Uh, point of focus. Looks so awesome. Looks looks awesome. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Tanner. The uh, the PSU mounting was something that I also really wanted to explore a little bit more. Uh, like the Atlas, the Atlas has two somewhat similar but also alternative PSU mounting places. You can essentially jog the PSU um, about inch and a half to from one side to the other. With Calypso, you're able to position the, uh, the PSU in two different places. So you can mount it exactly like it is right now, where it's going down, or you could rotate it 90 degrees and then mount it that way. Um, it's not the... Between those two things, between those two mounting options and the ability to rotate the motherboard, however you want, meaning that all the sides are symmetrical, all the mounting holes are the same. If you want your motherboard going the other way, you totally can. Um, you sort of have the most amount of options for, for mounting the PSU. Uh, so now there's some questions that I have to, uh, that I have to go through real quick. Um, Pixel Design says, this epic man. Thank you so much. ADH Plus is, I'm a goddamn genius. That you are, my friend. Um, ADH Plus also says, where is the SFX bracket? So that's a really good question. Um, right now, this Calypso is mounted with an ATX PSU. This is actually might be a dash L. Um, PSU, I don't actually remember if this is a slightly longer. EGA did some weird stuff with the, with one of the G series, and I don't remember which one. Weird stuff. Like but um, there will be an SFX PSU bracket that is going to be an option at checkout. So if you want an SFX bracket specifically because you only or you know you're going to use an SFX PSU and you want to save the space meaning that you would like a, uh, essentially a smaller case footprint, well, that will be an option for you. Uh, the ATX PSU is um, has the advantage of being able to mount, um, have mounting locations for two and a half SSDs or hard, I mean, no one really uses hard drive, two and a half inch hard drives, but I guess you could do that too. Um, so you have two locations on either side for two and a half inch mounting. Uh, I do not know if it's possible to do that with the SFX one, just by the nature of the SFX being a lot smaller. I'll try, but I just don't know if I can guarantee that. I like that. You don't even hesitate. You're like, yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try for sure. I, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> we'll do what I can. Um, Oh yeah, someone made a good a good point there. Uh, ill ill intent pointing out uh, to hit the like button. Go ahead, but also yes, up res. Depending on where you're watching, uh, make sure that you're watching in 1080p. Because as I slowly but surely get a bit farther in my build, uh, you're gonna want to see, and you're gonna want to see the clips. Wait, where Calypso this way? Calypso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So up res. It looks sweet. Okay, can you can you talk a little bit about like the, the I I want to hear about the end of the process. So I want to hear about the finish. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure we all want to hear a little bit about anything that is confirmed or that you can <laughs> confirm about shipping. I know we're, we we haven't li listed a price exactly, but and you've hinted at things that you can and can't have yeah. during uh during checkout. So. Uh, and then also, so sorry, I'm going to jump in for one second. In our Discord right now, in the Yulebeast Discord, um, there is a new forum channel, uh, which if you're on Instagram right now, you will see me switch the uh, channel to it, okay? Uh, the forum is called Suggest a Color, okay? We want to hear from you guys 
different cool colors that we could potentially do for a future Yule Beast case. Okay, so if you're not in the Discord, you need to be in there not only because of this poll, but also because we actually pre-announce when we're releasing the cases on Discord. And the first place that we ever post the store link is in Discord. <laughs> Before we even post on social, we give like a 24 hour head start to anyone who's on Discord. So if you haven't joined the Yule Beast Discord, you should. Um, how to find it quickly, you can find it through the top of our Instagram. And uh, I'll, I'll uh, let you guys discover it that way. And I think also, wait, don't we have the Yule Beast dot something? Yule Beast dot GG? No. Uh, the Discord, yeah, discord.gg slash Yule Beast will Yule bring Beast. you right to our. Yeah. And that is, uh, we have to thank all of our uh, server boosters and patrons on Discord for boosting the server because that's the only way that we can have a custom link like that. So thank you to everyone that's done that. So Ill Intent says, uh, thank you. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Um, Adius Plus says, can we buy spare arms? Yeah, 100%. 100%. I'll sell you as many arms as you want. Sweet. I've, ha I've had to keep my mic and, and thus some of my excitement muted because uh, for the sake of Instagram, I've actually blown up the stream uh, in front of my phone. And then I have you coming on speakerphone through the TV. So we're doing it live. We figured out a lot of stuff. I think we did, we've done we've done pretty well. I so think far. we're doing. I think we're doing great. The uh... yeah, load her up with some weight. I really want to yeah. see the uh, the, the flex. In, it all. She she will she will flex. She will flex. I hunted for quite some time for screws, but I finally finally found the right screws for the AIO. So a quick quick progress update from me. Here's where we're at with the AIO. We have a fan. <laughs> we have a fan. We have an only fan. <laughs> it's always one at a time. Yeah. All right. So I am. I honestly haven't done this with the case in this uh this orientation um so you guys are witnessing without the rad brace you might need to do it with some lighter parts yeah a hundred percent there's um there is an additional uh Yeah, well, definitely balancing out with the PSC would help too. There is an additional bracket that I haven't actually talked about oh. um, that is going to uh, be an option. I don't know exactly when. I'm, I'm most likely going to make it an option at, um, at release, and I will show you guys. So actually, she balances pretty well. I mean, yep. or as well as you can without the PSU. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. The bracket that I was considering doing is going to be a bracket that will connect these two wings together. Mm -hmm. Um. And it will screw into this hole, let's screw into these top holes, and it will brace this um, together. And it'll just be an alternative um, if you want a little bit more stability, but you don't want to use the longer water cooling brackets. Yeah, I feel like that'll give some people anxiety who may or may yeah. not kick their desk a lot. For the Ragers. Yeah, a thousand percent. The um, I mean, I don't know. You could do some avant-garde stuff. You do this. this is, <laughs> why, 
Why not? Um, All right, I appreciate says, you holding it down. I'm almost there. I'm almost okay. at radiator bracket done, and then it's time to pull out the last bits of the harvest build. Ilan 10 says, sorry if you've already answered this question. Um, is it steel or aluminum? Uh, it is all steel. Um, I almost exclusively make computers out of steel. Uh, nothing wrong with aluminum, but um, you'd have to, I'd have to make it like much thicker aluminum if I wanted to. Zai Zai the Shadi on Instagram says, I enjoy this. It kind of represents your logo, doesn't it? That's cool. Uh, yeah, I suppose it, it kind of does. Yeah. I, I never actually thought about that. I am just going to. This is cool. I, I haven't even seen you haven't sent me any pictures of it with a, a full full kit inside it. So this is cool. We're seeing uh, Calypso, a pre-production Calypso build. Yeah. Live. Yeah, I didn't even intend for this to happen. <laughs> I had a. I was gonna like leave my uh, little setup here in the kitchen extra aired out, and then use a, you know, wear a jacket. But I feel like wearing jackets while building computers has been ruined for everyone now. From the yeah. artisan PC guy. Oh yeah, that guy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. yeah, oh, fuck no. him. <laughs> fuck him. What a Holy. douche. Is, uh, is this just oil mild steel or it has a blue cast in the picture? Nope, this is just oiled steel. Nothing special about it. It's actually probably going to start rusting because I keep handling it with my hands. So, uh, I'll have to. I'll have to figure out if I want to send this to paint. Um, pretty short, right? Radiators are on. Small update. There we go. Dope. Looking chunky. Oh, awesome. Very chunky. I found the right screws. Very happy about that. Awesome. Now onto the back plate. Actually, I'm going to take over full cam. Taking it over. Do it, yeah. Do it. Taking it over. I okay, cannot. so radiator is on, and I'm just gonna line line it up with back plate. I'm also doing this so I may receive some guidance if I need it. Mm -hmm. Got the back plate lined up. Bam. Then we'll attach it with the right screws, which are the which which screws would I put there? Any screws really that'll go into the. I feel like that's what you included these guys for. I could have, yeah. How long ago did you pack this? It's been sitting. It's been sitting, yeah, waiting I to don't, be built. I for don't a while. remember any. Of <laughs> this was. <laughs> this was like it. my my. This is just a hint of sort of the the pain that some of the people experience who are waiting just like for ages for uh for water cooling parts. Yeah. Not not fair. Yeah, I don't remember. Don't remember doing any of it. So I'm what? glad that I. Uh, I'm glad that everything is included. I'm gonna go with since it's on the back, anyways. I'm honestly, if it if it takes it, I'm just gonna go with one of the normal fasteners. Okay. The more of yeah. those I can use, the better. Let's see. Oh, happy! Oh, perfect! Perfect! I love. I love that this is all metal. This is so metal, and the paint finish is good too. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, go up close with the, with the camera in a second. And what's, what's really cool to me is like this is not. Uh, I'm not exactly. I'm on stream and I'm and I'm trying to catch up, right? So I'm not exactly being the most careful, but like the paint isn't getting chipped off or scratched or anything. Just I'm moving kind of quickly, which is, which is mm -hmm. nice. You know, like the painter is putting enough layers there that's it's it's, it's solid Good. you want to you want it to look nice if you treat if you treat this right it'll look like the day you got it yeah well having like the resiliency of the paint 
um, is absolutely something that I, I, I pay attention to, you know, like I, that's, that's something that when I'm talking to the painter about, um, what color we want to do or what like the expectations are, um, he are, are the painter that, um, I'm using now, John at Boyko, um, he does a really good job of explaining to me just the, um, the pluses and minuses essentially of each of each color and how we can sort of uh, think through things to come up mm -hmm. with and pick the sort of the right not just color but also type of paint because there's a lot of different types of powder coats which i wasn't really aware of someone um, is someone is saying why why b needs a needs an industrial oven you're reminding me now that I did originally want to pull something. Hold on a second. Oh, fresh, fresh just like just like Jensen. What? It's another <laughs> Ulysses t shirt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need to make uh, I need to make more of those because um, we're basically out. Can we have a Can we have a little? Oh, also, I hope someone notices this. Okay, stream. Can you tell me? I'll make myself bigger. Can you tell me if you can see? There you go, right next to my finger there. Okay, if I remember correctly from the Nvidia streams, Jensen has a number of wooden spoons, uh, <laughs> all inside a container. So there's my one wooden spoon uh, as a prop. <laughs> That was that was very very important to me. That was just super super critical. Yeah. So here we go. There you go. There's the back plate. There's the AIO on it. Actually looks like really nice and compact, which which I love. And then what I did is I used the fasteners that that you know come with uh, the case, and I just hand tightened, which I know they're very small. Like I know it's not something you would typically want to hand tighten, but mm -hmm. it's just how I prefer to do it. And then to make sure I'm actually like snug enough, I, I just apply a bit of pressure, almost like pinch. And then if there's extra give, I tighten it and then I'm pinching in the same star formation that you know everyone always tells you to. That's that's screen. absolutely the right way to do it. And testing for wiggle and we're good. Cool, okay. I'm going to swap back to you last time here, Eric, because oh my God, can you do what you just did with the Calypso again? Check this out. Look at that. Oh man, that looks so good. It yeah, looks so good. I'm I'm pretty uh I'm pretty thrilled about it, to be totally honest. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, time for the rest of the harvest moon build to come out. Uh, oh, also, I meant to, I meant to ask um, for stream. When you guys hear Eric talking, can you hear him through my microphone? Because I do have to have him through my TV so that uh, Instagram can hear him. Let me know. This is fun too. This is this is cool. It's cool to have everyone. All the the comments as well are from you. Oh no, no, one was from Tw Twitch as well. Pixel came in on Twitch, so that seems to be working pretty well, which is which is cool. I know it can hear me coming through. There you go. So chat overlay. Um, there you go. Let's see if that works. Uh, Here, can someone write something in the chat so I can test this uh, test this feature here? Let me just see if the chat will actually pop up as intended. As intended. The 
I realize as I'm off camera, it's like I'm still <laughs> you can hear me chunking around down here. I'm being extra mean to another PC. Okay, that's all. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Uncharacteristically unkind. My poor dog's like, how come I can't hang out inside, human? Uh, did the comment appear? There we go. Cool. Comments are appearing right up there on the on the stream. That's awesome. And we can even do a different. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 So then I don't need to hide. The. Cool. Okay, so Lots of questions, questions coming in. Yeah. All right. Um, does Calypso this is have great. Thank you, everyone, bracket? for the questions. Yeah, absolutely. Does uh, Calypso have an accessory bracket for the bent arms? Uh, as in these parts, right, or these parts here, an accessory bracket. So, like, I'm not entirely sure what um, what you mean by that, because I can imagine a couple of different things. The next question, uh, or Jude Mayo says, hey, guys. Hey, what's up, Jude? How you doing? Uh, Ibanado, I think. Army Green, new color. I'm actually, so who was it that posted the Halo Green? Somebody posted Halo Green in the Discord as, like, a color suggestion. And I, I thought that was pretty sick, so... I don't know if that's the green that you were thinking of, but like I could get behind that. The Jan says, can you recommend a clear coat we might use when taking parts down to bare metal? Uh, I can't, I would probably look for one of the Rust-Oleum products. Um, so when painting metal, I prefer that brand just because I've had the most kind of the best luck with it. Uh, I'm now I'm by no means an expert. Um, having a clear coat finish is something that I'm kind of looking into. Uh, but our clear coat finish when we do it will most likely be a uh, wet clear coat. Uh, do you guys have links to the discord? Yep, there are links. Um, the best way to do it would be uh, discord.gg slash beast. If you do that in your browser, you'll go right to uh, go right to the Discord. Mods by Ben featured a Halo AMD. Yes, he did. And that was pretty cool. He does some really good stuff. Really good stuff. Out of there aren't many modders that sort of do that push the or I'd say are as creative as he is when it comes to doing builds. <laughs> Desert Tan. I don't, I feel, I don't know. Do you think Desert Tan would be cool? <laughs> I could see, I could see some builds with it. Like, I feel like you, I don't know what color parts that you would, would it just be black? Could you do, there wouldn't really be RGB that would match with, with like a desert tan. I could see the green. I could see like the halo army green. Um, I could definitely see that. Tanner, how, how are you doing? I was center missing. Oh, oh, the microphone's attached to that one. No, I realized that you could just see me like fiddling with the case on the floor. And so I was like, I'll turn that camera off, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nothing to hide now, really. We're getting there though. We're almost, we're almost ready to bring up the, uh, the motherboard and all the components which are already attached to it. So I'm pumped for that. We're very, very close. 
And you know I'm putting on the, the, the gold fittings. You're doing the gold. Well, yeah. guys, if you want to buy some brass fittings, I have yeah. I have a bunch of 632 brass socket head screws I can sell you. I actually don't know if you could just buy them on the website. Um, I should I should look into that. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually an option to buy as a standalone product. Besides, just put them on there. Question to uh, everyone watching now. If I sold these T handles for the 632 and 1032 screws, would you guys buy them? It is plus says on my build sky lantern. I just use car wax over the polished steel. I could see that. I mean, I feel like the wax is like, what did you use? Like the. The what's that wax? I use it for tools. I forgot what it is. Renaissance wax. Revolution X says, are you drinking beer? No, I'm, uh, I wish I was drinking a beer. This is Honestly, a I'm going to be completely <laughs> honest. Once I get, once I get out of this case, which I absolutely regret ever bringing into the house, uh, not a Yule Beast case. Uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm, I will, I will finish my water and I will maybe add a splash of, uh, something into there. I guess I was supposed to keep that hidden from stream, but I mean, whatever. This is uh is this an adult stream? Do we uh, officially? Uh, it's no, we're no PG thirteen. Okay, that's why. Yeah, we're no, we're yeah. This is. Uh... <laughs> like a turtle wax. I don't know what turtle wax is. Is that like Renaissance turtle wax? wax, or is that turtle wax what you use on surfboards? I feel like that's what you use. That on sounds surfboards. cool. It does sound cool. Hopefully it's not made from turtles. I definitely uh, blame and thank 80ish Plus for even getting a lot of people into these sorts of conversations. <laughs> They're like, what sort of what sort of finish should I put on my exotically finished? Like people see are introduced to like the monument and they're like, what is this amazing shiny metal thing? And it's like, oh, only one. <laughs> Only one guy in Australia has that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to do it. Yeah, no, 80ish Plus has uh, consistently pushed the boundaries. A pioneer. Of, uh, yeah, pioneer is, is a, it's a strong word, but it's, it's, it's probably appropriate. Okay, last bit. Motherboard, come on out. Thank you for holding it down, Eric. I'm just doing, I'm just doing my part, Sammy. I'm, here, I'm, I'm, here I'm really now. it's cool to see the reception everyone for for calypso eric's been hard at work at, on it and and honestly the uh the grind like it, people are gonna want to build a new case for the new series so it's been uh he's definitely been grinding hard to get it ready it's in been, time yeah no it's been um it's been really challenging um like I said, oh, okay. like a, mo the... a moment of silence, please. Uh, a moment of silence for uh, this uh, this relic oh. EVGA card. Well, thirty sixty. It was uh, had a good life. Yeah. Well, it's not going anywhere, but it's um, it's certainly not going to have any any uh, what's the ne next of next of kin or whatever. No, they'll make they're going to make cards again. I can almost guarantee that. Well, listen, if they're going to do anything, then then word word will come in the next couple months. It's, they can't go long without figuring it out. Yeah. For financial reasons. Yeah. They, um... Yeah. I think that they're probably just under contract. And they can't yeah. actually say anything. That's a weird setup for that, but yeah. yeah okay, motherboard I mean, or yeah. PSU first? What should I what should I put in first? Mother decisive. I like it. Motherboard. Okay. okay, sounds good. 
And then we'll, we'll mount it up and then I'll take off the... Uh... <laughs> Extra stuff. 80 ish plus. It's, uh, it was so nice to see you. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, I hope that you're, uh, you're, you can control your children's descent. <laughs> 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 You can try. <laughs> see, see, I'm lucky. I took over the kitchen for the evening. And so the repercussions for my little one is that she gets to go out and explore and go get ice cream. So, wow. Yeah. It's a win for her, for sure. She's not complaining. All right. Let's, here's some, here's some, uh, well, it's something. All right. Here you go. Here is the. I'm. T I took away your awesome uh, putting a 3080 in to see this. Oh. This is the. This is the setup before. Okay. Okay. I actually love this little cooler. Um, interesting to see kind of how it looks coming onto a, uh, a monument just roughly. Yeah, it's not. It's not filling up that space. No. <laughs> like it needs to. Okay, I'm gonna. Take off some fasteners. I'll put you back on there. I saw. I saw a thirty eighty. Yeah. Is that just the cooler still? This is just the cooler. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, for people in the chat who have monuments, how do you like to? Uh, how do you like to do your? Sorry, just discovered a feature on this motherboard that I'm looking at. How do you like to do your um, your motherboard mounts? Do you like to put them down with fasteners or with thumb screws or or what? Second. Uh, and go label and tag co. Hey, I know who that is. The, so I just noticed an interesting, uh, an interesting perk, or not perk feature. The armature was really designed for ATX PSUs, where you're mounting, or ATX GPUs, where the actual um, 16 slot GPU where you're mounting is going to be like all the way over down down this way. So the armature actually is a little too long and it interferes with this giant Asus IO shroud. Um, the, so the best way to mount it is actually gonna be mounting it pushed all the way out like this, which looks okay, but I think I'm gonna probably come up with an alternative GPU mount, which is actually farther out, which will allow you to have mount this closer in. We'll probably sell it as a little bundle. Cool. Have a better explanation of why you need that. Standoffs are off. Not standoffs, sorry. The uh, fasteners. Oh, I'm giving in. I'm giving in. I'm 100% putting the bronze fasteners on. What's up? You gotta do it. I think I might actually bring, I'm going to let you work on that. I think I'm going to bring the, that camera closer. Okay. Toph says, I think if the arm for the GPU went a bit higher, that would be cool as well. So what I'm talking what I was saying before was that I think that I'm going to make 
I'm going to make this here. Uh, or actually, no, use this together. I'm going to make this part here come out farther. And by coming out farther, it's going to help clear this giant IO shroud, uh, which is comically large. So that way you'll actually be able to position this really like almost hypothetically, you could probably position it like right in the middle of the, uh, of the entire build, which would be pretty cool. Um, that is a, uh, and again, this is like, that's why like assembling and making prototypes and like talking with you guys is like so important because uh, a lot of this stuff, like you don't really notice, like until you physically start putting stuff on and you're like, Oh, you can't do that. Or, Oh, it doesn't work the way I thought it did. So it's all part of a part of a learning experience. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this revision. Um, this is pretty close. Uh, we're, um, we are going to make a change to the GPU bracket. Um, the And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else I wanna. What else I really wanna change on here? Um, How are we feeling for uh, the uh, the the rush against Nvidia to kind of get it out for you know next next uh, next gen? Well, what's the what's my exact? Oh, I I don't know. What's sometime, my hard day? Sometime, sometime this month. Yeah, sometime this month. I think that there'll be a final prototype, and I think that they we will have. If we do want to do some sort of like concept, uh, concept testing or beta testing for the product, then. I think that we'll have the list of people that we're going to sort of do that with or who want to purchase sort of like a uh, early, early edition of the case. Um, I think we'll be able to have that sorted out by the end of the month. Okay. So or is that, is that, are you, so are you soft announcing your, your, your idea of having sort of a, we have to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we have, to, we have to talk about. It. We have to talk about. It. Okay, okay. No leaks. No leaks. No leaks. <laughs> no leaks. No yeah, leaks. It's, no leaks. It's it's something that we're 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 gonna have a conversation with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But we're pretty we're pretty close. We're like the there's only a couple things that we're that I'm I need to like kind of readdress in the design. Um, I need to finalize the pricing. Um, I'm trying to make this. I don't want to say what I'm trying to cost. Yeah, not yet. At, you don't, not sure yet. But I want it to be competitive. Um, that's the coolest. Well, with I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in from the the perspective of people, guys. A Yulbi's case with a with a competitive price, right? Like Yulbi's cases have always been. There's been a reason. It's because you're you're getting which camera do you go? So much metal. <laughs> And it's so heavy to get to you, um, you know, and you're also getting a product which, I mean, as long as the standards d don't change, as in like, as long as ATX or IT, whatever sticks around, that it's a case you can use until literally P DIY PC parts leave the market. Um, but what's cool about what Eric just says, trying to make something that's, that's, that's competitive is that it's going to bring, um, you know, it's going to bring a lot more people in who may be like well for a variety of reasons right L lower cost for people is always is always better but it's it's really cool and props to you for taking on the challenge because it's still the same quality of you yeah. know material as before but it's it's little things right you're like someone was asking about you know shipping to farther locations because for atlas 2 
we we brought in the shipping range a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I was like, listen, like for future cases, like there's all he said. He said, is it something you're considering? And I said, all I can say is that I know Eric considers everything about the product from its weight to how it can be packed the most optimally yeah. to to everything without cutting corners. But thought is always put into that. So yes, fighting the good fight. Well, thank you, Tanner. And that's uh, very eloquently said. The uh, It's all considered. It's all careful consideration. Um, the uh, And yeah, I definitely, with Calypso, even though I'm trying to hit a, um, or be a little bit more cost uh, competitive, I don't want to sacrifice the quality of the product or the thought that I'm putting into the product. Um, the, I'm trying to do things that I'm, um, I'm trying to make some intelligent design decisions that uh, aren't going to really impact the um, builder, but might save a lot of time in production. The uh, one example of that is that I am like, and then in the Atlas, we use, uh, I use internal threads to screw together the wings. On Calypso, we're just using um, socket screws, washers, and then either an acorn nut or a hex nut or a nylon hex nut. Um, that's a little change um, that doesn't really affect the build quality whatsoever. Um, it is an extra part that could potentially get lost, but it saves a lot of time for me in production. So I'm weighing decisions like that in order to try to bring this product to more people, um, especially when there are things that I don't really think will make that big of a difference in the long run. Like I've assembled like maybe a dozen Calypsos or like a Calypso a dozen times at this point. And like putting together the 1032 screws isn't really that big of a deal. Toff says, I like that you change because you can use one hardware color if you feel like it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's totally true. The uh, And having the hardware color variations is, uh, is kind of important. Um, I think that's like a neat way that we can have, um, we can give like the end user a little bit more control over what they're building and how they want it to look. Alcohol swabs. I use alcohol swabs to wipe down these things instead of just rubbing like isopropyl and like a little sticky. I'm looking for my alcohol swabbies, I'm not finding them. Let's see if I can find a question here on Instagram. Uh, no, but I can scroll back and see if there are some questions. Let's see. Oh, I did not answer. Oh, people were just joining. People were just joining, honestly. Yeah, coming uh, and going, seeing what's up. Yep. Saying hi. The good thing is that they could hear you letting us know what's going on. So cool. That's okay. Cool. okay. All right. One last check for the alcohol swabs, and then I'm going to have to, I don't know, slum it somehow. <laughs> the paper towel is going to come out, guys. <laughs> I mean, there's no problem starting with paper towel. Like, whatever. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Eric, I have to ask. Let's, let's, do some, let's, do some, let's do some housekeeping. Did you, uh, did you eat before your first ever multi-stream? Did I eat? I yeah, can I bet you can't guess what I had. Uh, no, tacos. Actually, that's pretty damn close. If you ah, can guess. let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> really, really it's close. Uh, well, no, it was a specific brand that has taco in the name. Taco Bell. Yeah, I had Taco Bell. You're such an American, my guy. I know. I only just discovered how delicious and disgusting Taco Bell is. That is I've... that's your most the most hey listen, should we bring in should we bring in a should we bring in a guest? Tof. Yeah, why not? Tof, how 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 do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna jump in the in the stream? How how ready are you? Do you have do you have anything that you can uh, show us that you're working on or do you just wanna 
hang out for a little bit, ask some questions. I'm putting you on the spot. Your dog is watching the stream as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's a good. Eric does like tacos. It's, 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 hashtag it's trending. <laughs> I mean, tacos do have a special place in my heart. I want to go. I want to go visit uh, Mods by Ben down in Texas, and he's uh, he, he he was telling me all about the tacos they have there, and I am I was salivating. I really love Mexican food. I love it. I I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I really like any kind of food that encourages like family style eating. I'll be right back. I just gotta check my dog. Uh, I'm right here, ready food? for you guys. Okay, yeah, hang on to him. One sec, I'll see you later. I like Ethiopian food. Just also kind of like a weird family style eating. Yeah. You guys have any other questions with Calypso before I put her away? It's kind of cool. Unfortunately, it is a little unbalanced without having a... without having some uh, weight in the front. Let's see if we add weight, if we can fit. If we add weight to that, would it still do that? I don't know. Hmm. Thought I had a three sixty. Frederick says, Hey, when is the launch date for Calypso? That's a great question. And I am not sure. Uh I'm hoping that uh me and Tanner can have sort of a discussion. We might do a soft launch um for some beta test units in September, but most likely in October we're gonna have a uh we're going to have some, we'll have the true, true launch of the product. I put some flowers up for the true launch. That's how it'll feel. Yeah. That's how it'll feel when the product launches. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's pop Toe Fun here for a second. Yeah. And he's in. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Uh, what's up, guys? I don't have my UOB shirt on. I didn't have time to grab it. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry, man. <laughs> you've repped it, you've repped it so many times. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm on my phone. I don't have any camera set up. Uh, but. No, dude, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, someone asked, you'll be cable comes when? I don't know how that question hasn't been posed uh, more often. That's a really good, that's a really good question. Um, I've experimented with making cable clips. Actually, I had, at one point I had Dremel sponsor like a little video segment where they sent me this whole Dremel kit and I made a cable comb in the hardest possible way. Um, the... There's two there's two kind of main issues with the cable comes. One, shoot. I can effectively laser cut a cable comb really easily. Um, in fact, I can laser cut it out of stainless steel or steel or whatever. The hard part is that you have to edge break it. So cable combs are normally machined because they have a lot of edge breaking on it. And edge breaking is a machining procedure where you basically chamfer all the edges and you soften them. Um, this is really important for cable combs because otherwise you're sort of going to like rip the wires. Uh, there isn't a great way to edge break laser cut parts in that very particular and exact manner. Um, it's just not, it's just not possible. You can tumble parts. You can, 
Um, you can bead blast them, you can file them down, but to do so in a really uh, accurate and precise way, isn't really a, there isn't really a procedure for that. Um, it would most likely be a machining procedure. So long answer, that's why I haven't done it because I'm not technically a machinist. Um, but it is something that like, I think I'd probably look into. Um, there's some cool like uh, tube cable combs for soft tubing that like I've looked at doing before. Um, I have to say I'd probably gravitate more towards doing that for soft tubing um, than doing like the individual like cable combs. If that makes sense. Okay, Toph, you're here. You got drop drop some drop some knowledge for us. Catch us up a little bit. What's going on in your life? What are you up to? Oh boy. Um, what what I projects see. do you have coming up? I know you have a bunch. Uh, oh, I will, I actually have my own uh, white monument build that's coming up. Cool. Um, that's gonna be uh, just a simple air cooled build, but you know it'll uh, it'll be cool nonetheless. Uh, you know, doing some custom cables for that. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it other than whenever Calypso comes out. Uh, <laughs> actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, I have my Atlas One build that I still need to get done. Um, but that's going to do the new hardware. Uh, so whenever 13th Gen comes out, that'll uh, be what's going on. When is uh when is TOF you know kind of like open for business? Hey, you know, inquiries can come in whenever they want. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm always down to build PCs. Always down. Um, my neighbor he wants a PC to, uh build. He doesn't want a gaming PC though. He just wants a normal. One. So I'll be doing that <laughs> as well. <laughs> Well, that's cool, man. That's cool. Is there um, is there any piece of hardware that you're excited for? Um, I'd say I'm most excited for uh, 13th Gen uh, Intel. Okay. I uh, like I was saying before, it's uh, there's really nothing I can't run with uh, with the current gen of GPUs. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm actually uh, you know on the fence about them because the the power and the heat that comes with all the new hardware is getting more and more crazy so you've got to find uh you know bigger ways to cool them uh which yeah. makes cases bigger more radiators um and uh yeah i uh i think um overclocking is taking a hit because it's not uh, as beneficial as it is because the hardware is so good stock mm -hmm. that, um, you know, you kind of are left with no fiddling to do. Fair, yeah. The, the, I think the reasoning for people to do custom mods and to really get into PC modding or advanced PC building has kind of shifted over the last like couple of years you know people are getting into it for more aesthetic reasons than actual functional reasons for sure it's i mean uh i've always said whenever anyone comes over uh my lithium build is something they like like holy crap like that's crazy uh you know it's definitely a staple in my room um mm -hmm when when people come over to visit so it's it, it's nice having something that is uh you know a computer but also a huge conversation piece for sure, people that don't even like pc well not don't like but aren't into them like mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting to like oh my god what is that i've never seen that before there's water in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah i get that a lot when people come to my office and be like oh is that computer running with water i'm like yes it is you yep. have to explain to them, well, sometimes there is, but I have to fill it up all the time. And yeah. <laughs> okay, I, uh, Eric, I'm, really I'm going to I'm gonna put you on the spot. So so what, Calypso is the next thing that's coming up. 
we'll see what yes. happens. Usually, doesn't AMD announce their cards like I think three months after in, um, Nvidia does? So let's say that right around the corner here, we've got our uh, my AIO progress. By the way, is completely stumped. But this is great because I don't want my phone to Google things. So I'm really just I'm learning. Uh, You're doing yes. Great. Thank you. I've been, I've been I've been at the same same stage for a little bit. I'm trying to figure out if this motherboard I, there's metal that's too close to other metal things, and I don't want to short something. Okay, out, yeah. So. so no, 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 that's fine. You're mounting that that back plate is mounted correctly. This this came with the motherboard, and I think that it needs to stay on as a buffer. It probably does. Yes. And then Unless... I will do other things on top of that. You, you and need... for AMD hardware, then I have these cool little AMD biddies. Yes, that's correct. Which go on the top. On top of the standoffs. Stand I'm missing standoffs. Oh. Yes. Figure there we go. Out. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So top. Yeah. One so Eclipse is coming, and then yeah. uh, what do you think might be what be might be next down the pipes? Ah, what is next? Um, so I've made some promises about revisiting the lithium. I suppose that's probably still the next major thing that I look at. Um, the lithium is going to, uh, oh, there's Toph's lithium looking pretty sick. Dude, it looks so good. Yeah, it looks really good. It's really, really nice. nice. The so the lithium is going to be revisited now. I haven't committed to anything. I've indicated that I'm most likely going to be doing two different versions of the lithium, a slightly smaller version to the one that Toph is showing, um, and then a slightly larger version the one that Tom was showing. Uh, so more of a, making lithium that's going to be more of a mid-size PC and then making a lithium that's really going to be like EATX, like just go for it sort of design. Mm -hmm. um, but after the Calypso, I kind of acknowledge that I'm going to be a little burnt. Um, <laughs> So I think that this might be a really good time to uh, also revisit the... Yeah, the Echo. Echo headphone stands unite. Did I hear so, something about a smaller lithium just now? One sec. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so not quite backpack size. Yeah. Well, no, not quite backpack. It'll be. <laughs> it'll be like it's going to be slightly smaller than the, than your lithium, but only very slightly. Did oh, okay. Did Eric? Did you catch the comments from Ken Golagable and Tag and uh, Jude? Uh no. Uh, yeah. Wow. No, I totally missed those. Okay. Um, Jude. Uh, I love your case designs. Is there somewhere to share with some wild ideas? Yeah, dude. Come jump on the Discord, man. People tell me wild ideas all the time. <laughs> Discord.gg slash Yulbeast, man. Stop by. The, uh, I know that uh, there's a lot of people there with some really cool ideas, and uh, there's so many people are going to be jumping off all those different ideas. So, like, you're talking about a slanted design. Yeah, no, I've definitely considered doing a slanted design before. Um, and I think that would be kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> prevent dust. I don't know if that would actually prevent dust, but the uh, it you know probably wouldn't hurt. And then uh, Kenko Label says, my monument gets more attention than the million dollar digital presses. I mean, thanks, man. <laughs> I feel like the million dollar presses are probably pretty cool. Um, the, uh, but can they game? But can, I'm they sure can. they could run good Doom. They probably can't play Crisis. Um, <laughs> Echo needs a Chi Charger built in. Yeah, it does. Um, 
that's something that I was uh, I was actually looking into, but it is really, really difficult. <laughs> so I don't actually know if that's uh, I don't know how feasible that actually is. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. Wait, what? And where does the So yeah, this is great. I, now I understand how other people feel watching me build computers, like like my wife. I look so silly right now. You're doing great. Don't worry about it. How does the, the, uh, what does the fox say? How does this go? So one thing I'm excited about is uh, EK is coming out with a. Um, it's already out, I believe, but it is a uh, CPU block slash pump kind of like all in one, almost like a model block. Um, they've showed some pictures of it. I actually haven't seen it for sale yet, but in terms of like small form factor things, like especially like the monument, like that would be the thing to do. Um, to have a CPU block slash pump all in one that you just slap on and then it's done. That's really neat. And like, that's a really easy, uh, quick solution that doesn't involve a lot of complicated like doing um, or like off balance parts. Um, I'm also like kind of excited about doing some more um, uh, custom distro plates and stuff. Um, I don't I don't really have a huge interest in doing that myself, but I am sort of interested in starting to work with more people and coming up with some distro designs um, for the specific products that are available, at least in smaller batches. Um, I know that's something that me and Mods by Ben talked about. Um, the uh, he said that he would be willing to release some of his um, some of his distro designs to the public um, for builds that he did with some uh, of these products. Um, and if he does do that, I'd be more than happy to um, work with somebody to try and get some of those um, produced um, in small batches for anyone that's interested in them. Because, uh, yeah, I, there's so many times where, like, I've just wanted, a, like, a distro, but just don't, I just don't have the, have the willpower to go and create it myself, um, as I think most people do. Distro on the uh, on the Atlas and the Calypso would be really really cool. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I know. I think I think you're right. The uh, there's definitely um, the Calypso definitely has some strong potential. Seems like there's a. Uh, quite a bit of mounting options. Not that the uh, Atlas didn't have it, but I just feel like this is a lot, I don't know, it, visually it looks a lot more versatile. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially with the different wing options that you were showing earlier. Yeah, well, that's what's cool about it. That's my favorite part, is that you can sort of change and adjust these wings however you want. So you get to be the person that decides exactly how it's going to look, and you can make it look as wacky or as, as uh, however, however you see, however you envision your build, you get to be the one that does it. So that's something I'm personally excited about. Um, Jude says, but can someone at least type the Discord address here? Uh, Jude, I will work on figuring out how to do that for you, bud. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, the Discord.gg. Okay, so updates on that. Discord.gg slash Yulebeast does not seem to be working for me. You might need to manually go into Judas. Judas in he's YouTube, so you might need to go to the YouTube stream and drop it for him there. Also, Toph, your background noise is. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh sorry. Thank you. Can maybe you just turn it down. Unless you're getting feedback from me, you can turn down the volume on your phone and it'll fix it. I'm going to mute myself for this. My let me, kids run into the house. Let me mute my... No, I think I need to mute my I'll turn down the volume. And I'll put my headphones on. Okay. 
all better. Cool. Awesome. So Tanner, show me what, what are you, what are you working on now? What's okay. Going on? So I've got, I just found the, the screws that connect to, hold on here. Oh, good. Okay. A little, yes. uh -huh. I found out that the metal bit goes onto here. This is actually really uh, interesting to do without uh, a manual. It really does become more like a puzzle. You're doing great, though. I'm sorry. Did I not give you a manual? Is this my fault? I don't need a manual. I have Google, except today I do not. <laughs> <laughs> today is what you're watching is a grown man navigate the world without Google for the first time. For the first time in a long time. That's what it is. Yeah, that's right. You remember the days where you just had to do this all the time? <laughs> Where if you got lost, like you just got lost, like there was no solution. You just basically had to hope that you drove somewhere or someone found you. But now you have the, uh, with the new iPhone. I've always like, wondered like, how this people satellite like navigated roads with the GPS. Oh, dude, no, it was, you just... You just had to like, you know, well, first everyone had a, uh, everyone had a, had a, had maps in the car. So like that weird pouch in the back behind the driver's seat, right? You know how there's always like a pouch there? Like that's where you put the maps. Like you just had maps. You just didn't, you know, you just didn't drive anywhere without a map. The, uh. And then there was also this weird in-between period where, like, people used MapQuest, where, like, you would, uh, it's, uh, yeah. you would print out where you were going. Um, that was a weird, it was a weird, it was a weird time. We don't talk about that time anymore. Yeah, Elijah knows what I'm talking about with MapQuest. <laughs> the worst was driving around, like, New York. Like that's like, that was hard. That was so difficult. Cause like you would just, you just get lost places. You're like, man, like I'm just, you know, there's like two hours of my day where I'm just like driving around trying to figure out how to get out of the city. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's construction on the way. Yeah, yeah. Man, that feels, it feels like a long time ago. Okay, Calypso, you're coming down now, buddy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Tasting time. Ina, Ina has little faith in my ability to uh, make her computer still work. Allegedly. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. Can we get a vote in the chat for line versus X versus oversized P? It's got to be. Well, it's line dot dot dot. What? Yeah. No. Am I, you've never done that? No. Or X. I've never with, done the X. With the four. With First the four time dots. for everything. I'm not seeing anything in chat. I'm going to go for X. Yeah, I think you got to go for X. Or how about a swirl? Like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> okay, hang on. Draw your base. Just do, do, just do that. Right. Is this is this EK paste? That looks like a lot of thermal paste. That, you said do an X. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna be great. It looks fine. It looks really good. Let's hold on. This is what we have two cameras for, right? Hold on. I'm taking sure. I'm taking over for a second. To the top down. One second. One second. Okay. One second. Superman All logo. Right. I I vote for the Superman logo. Here. This is the a little thick. 
a little thick for my taste, but you know what? You know what? There's no such. Well, actually, there is, but. Let's, and now a chat comes up. Pretty sure it's supposed to be hashtag your marketing cat. <laughs> I, Tanner, I think that's going to be great. Um, nothing my that kids, isopropyl alcohol can't, can't fix. My, my, my kid is reminding me that I, in fact, also have uh, a bison shirt just like you do, Eric. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Wearing a bison shirt right now. Yeah. yeah, I have to. I have to oh, send can these. We, hold on, can we show these on stream for a second? Check these, check these winter boots. No, my kid just got. Those are those are very cute. I like that purple. I like that purple a lot. It's a cool. It's a cool yeah, I can't fit them. Sophia, do you think we should do a computer case that color? Yeah. Okay. Red. Okay. Red. Red, red, purple. Okay, cool. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, yeah, red, purple. Okay. Oh, I should have like I should have mounted the the heart. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Let me speed things up a bit here. I don't want the thermal paste to like. Well, actually, it takes forever to dry out, doesn't it? It takes a really long time. Yeah, okay. It needs a lot of heat. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't even need a. Hold on, Sophia. Let me just get this piece of adult Lego in here. Who was it that suggested, Top, you might know this, because Tanner's, Tanner's yeah. distracted. Who was it that suggested to do the Yule Beast sweatshirt <laughs> with all the little Yule Beasts on it? Do you know who that was? Someone on the Discord suggested that. I don't remember who. Uh, no, I didn't suggest the little Yule Beasts, but I suggested a Yule Beast sweatshirt. Me and, um, me and what's his name? That was, uh, what was it? Thank you, Atu Rob. Adam Deathstroke, for fixing our Discord link. I don't know why that wasn't working. It's kind of embarrassing on my part. Everyone anxiously watching as I insert screws. Fasteners, even <laughs> into the chassis. The chassis. This is actually such an B550 boards with the extra space. Uh, there's actually a lot more room to make them like look pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like basically put like artwork on them. I would they really either. like to do the uh, to do a sweatshirt design though with whatever whoever suggested doing the little Yule Beast in like the same way that. Uh, Louis Vuitton has like the logos sort of like scattered. Like I think that's a really mm. cool idea. And I'm gonna try to figure out how to do that. I think I may have shared a picture of that. It actually wasn't the uh, yes the the repeating pattern thing, but actually the example that I used was from uh, D Brand. D brand does oh. the two phone cases like that. Oh, and then I think someone else was thinking, yeah, the little UPS logo. That would be cool. Yeah, I will. I'm going to seriously look into doing that. The uh, how heavy of a sweatshirt should it be? That's a great question. That's an excellent question. Who knows? How many of your, how many of the Yule Beasters live in like, you know, Arizona or somewhere? <laughs> I mean, a, a huge portion of our sales are to like the West Coast. So yeah, uh, maybe some, maybe some tank tops. Right. Some, uh, yeah, the Horgy model. I mean, well, he's, he's going to be the first one. We're going to send it, we're going to send it out to him. I can't I wait until we make our make our uh, our workout channel, and it could just have <laughs> him, you, and Mods by Ben, the three people I can confirm in fact go to the gym. <laughs> Toph, what's on your mind? What are you thinking about? Wait, am I muted or is he muted? No, no, you're not muted. He might be. 
He might be muted. Maybe he muted himself. Maybe. Tove. I'm trying. No, I was muted. I was trying to figure out how I can actually use my camera as a... Mm. Um, you need to accept the oh nice yeah that's a good thing to be to be figuring out yeah as a as a webcam okay hold on that's a different fastener length you do not belong there where do you go uh oh which pile of uh, it's better go? than my phone but i think i need to do uh a little bit more okay all right dude, no problem man no problem I just want to let it be known that this beautiful 3060 EVGA GPU, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to clean it up by blowing in it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that Atlas, that beautiful, beautiful OG Atlas. Oof. There are really very few of those in the wild yes very few here we go gpu entering yeah wow and i have two I of them <laughs> you have i two can't of believe them. i made it one piece that was so ridiculous Yeah, I can't believe I made it one piece of steel. That's so huh. amazing. It's 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 a real work of art. Oh, thanks, man. It's 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 something. I don't know. The uh, Randu King says one day I'll be able to play with one of these. Hey, so Randy's here. Randy, come play Halo with us later. I didn't. I didn't tear down my wife's only workstation computer to not have you play Halo with her on it. Come on, <laughs> Tanner. Read, read Frederick's message. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And 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 I almost, I almost, I almost. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? I almost did it on camera too but then the amount of dust that came out. <laughs> I did have a compressed air can, okay, Frederick, but then they, they, they run out. They run out. It's okay. It's okay, Tanner. Check this out. Look, I'm going to hold this up to camera. Hang on. This looks so good. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Here you go. That's amazing. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, that's not the part. Little you golden oven. It. Oh, the gold guy. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Same on the edge of the edge of the motherboard there. Mm hmm They're using the brass. Yep. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. I take full credit for trying so hard to convince you to add it to the to the fold. Now, here's the interesting part. I have a bag of cable extensions. This is where it actually starts to come together. So we've got this, and we've got the 24 pin, beautiful. And then we've got BS because, 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 because this PSU uses some not beautiful cables. So. Uh. Let's get this out of here. Oh, wait, what? Hello? Oh, mm -hmm. I forgot to tighten that in all the way. Sorry. No, I just went to lift lift out a cable and the whole motherboard was just like coming up towards me. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst thing that could happen. I was saying I'll illustrate with design and you'll be skull. I'm going play some Halo tonight. Let's go. Ooh, illustrate that you'll be skull. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Huh. I would. Uh, I I'd be. I'd see. I'd check that out. Really hope I'm not cross threading this. In fact, I'm gonna use a different fastener. Did you find that there were any like weird tolerances with the different fasteners, or no? Brass is no. softer too, right? 
Brass is softer than steel. Yeah. So you. Hang on. Yeah. So now, okay. Real easy trick. Oh wait, where's yeah. my where's my script? Okay. So real easy trick to never never cross thread something again. Oh, twist it's back first, right? Twist backwards first. Yes. Right. I forgot to do that, but I'm still scared, so I'm going to use an, another one. Want to keep it clean, keep it squeaky. You know what's really fun about doing this is I get to build a computer, even though I didn't buy all the computer parts. Which is really <laughs> only the prohibiting factor. There you go, perfect. Oh, that's a happy little fastener. <laughs> Why has no one done a Bob Ross computer build yet? I, you know what? We're we've obviously identified a, a new market trend. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it for uh for a Calypso build. My yeah. Gobs Again, are, nothing. None of the fasteners have to be super tight. Yeah, it's just this one. This one here is literally. There's literally play in the motherboard where this one is. Okay. Which I guess you're right. Doesn't really. I normally don't even screw in all of the motherboard fasteners. To be totally honest. Mm, gotcha. Okay, and we've got. I guess I could have also put in the GPU last. Yeah, I might I might take that out actually. No, you don't need I'm, to do it. You can leave it in. Well, I have the white power button too. Oh no, I remember. I remember. Uh, I actually had an idea for like a Yule Beast shirt of some sort, which was uh, to do a, uh, it would be a picture of a kitchen table and then all the cutlery and plates are flying off as a giant atlas about to be built gets plopped down on the table because that's where we all do our PC builds. That's <laughs> just a fact of life. Ow. All right, so Tanner, tell me, walk me through what are you what are you doing now? Okay, so now we're gonna squirt on, yes, squirt on the. Uh, well, we're gonna actually shuffle the power button, I think, away from its previous location, on the old backplate. Which is wait, wait, wait where's my this camera? Is, is is we don't need to be that long. So I'll do a little power button migration. Uh, and you have an OG power button where I didn't, it's not actually soldered on. Mm -hmm. And then before I put on the back plate, I should get my cables plugged in so I can have those routed. So this will be my, okay, that's for an eight pin. Let's do the 24 pin first. So that one's kind of the annoying one. One white 24 pin going in. Okay. This is the first monument that I'm going to see that's using extensions. I mean, it works with the, with the, with the back plate. Mm -hmm. A pin EPS. How can I tell the difference between the EPS and the PCIe? I can't. Well, but, it's an extension, so they're both PCIe. Right. <laughs> I don't know, plugged in, so hopefully nothing blows up. Okay. Then you're going to go in here. Oh, but will this big chungus get through the hole at the back? The answer is no way in heck. So we're actually going to do an around the side maneuver. Some people take issue with this. I'm personally not against it. I feel very like Bitwit, you know, the way Bitwit does his builds. I see that. I get, I get that feeling. Yeah. Like a little bit like a uh, little bit organized chaos. It's, it's like, I know what I'm doing, but does the viewer know what I'm doing? <laughs> 
they know how to build a computer, but do they have any idea what in God's name I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful, beautiful. There's the extendo bits. And we'll get our beautiful little uh, power switch. Hang on a second. How did I mount? Okay, hold on. Now we've got the the white power switch thing, which I vaguely remember how to do. Oh, yeah, I do remember. Okay. Yeah, right. Just untwist the little nublets like so. A little bit. Is this in frame? Yeah. Loosen those. What did you mean about the new ones are are, uh, are soldered? So the new um, the new power buttons, and I wish I had one here. Not new. They've actually had them for quite a while. But uh, so yeah, you know how what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. this application of exactly what you're doing, you no longer have to do that. Those things Wait. are soldered together. Cool. So I think that's a win uh, for everyone. No one's yeah, miss unless that. you want to use like a white power button like that, you know. Well, we are very particular here at Yule Beast uh, live stream HQ. So, all right. Now this is going to go through the back of the booster backplate, and I think we're almost at the point where I will be mounting said booster backplate, which is very yeah. exciting. That's very exciting. Um, yeah, let's do a final little check off. So, I guess first I have to put on the AIO, or I could do PSU first. Just to d delay one more step. Back down to the f floor computer, the harvest the PC. Dude, the, the worst thing about open chassis is that it makes you never want to go back to a closed chassis again. I've traveled with my monument too. I brought it to a national park. I have brought it to a friend's house. I just put it inside a, a picnic cooler. And away I go. See, is that really how you transport it in a cooler? Yes. It's, not with an ice pack in it, but yes. <laughs> so how's your that's camera sourcing going? All right, here we go. Here's a little PSU. Oh, little PSU. Point, point. The PSU we all expect yeah. to be in the build. It's going. Nice. It's not going well. Oh. Could be better. Got it. Okay, we're going to do fan down. I'm really tempted to blow into this one on the camera. I really am. I mean, you know what? Life's short. <sighs> <laughs> you, 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 you made the you made the people happy, Tanner. Hey! Oh, cool shirt! Wow. I love them. I love them. I'm jealous. I didn't get to go clothes shopping. That's so cool. My kids got drip. Yes. Hey. What are you saying? Okay, I appreciate appreciate the tip. I cannot mute my microphone, so I hope you all enjoy the rhetoric. <laughs> Because I don't have the steadiest hand, but you know what? Do you want to? Do you want to help me? Yes. Okay. I need your help putting these. Brad, you're gonna have to reach over here. Here. I put a tank top under. Nice. Because I don't want people to see my skin. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, it's good on your face, but I know what you mean. Okay, that one goes in that hole right there. I can't reach. Right there. Yeah, and then twist, righty tighty. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Don't press on this keyboard. Wait, lift up your arm. Oh. I was like, oh, no, is the stream going to end? <laughs> I saw the screen started changing. I was like, oh, gosh. Nice. Okay, and the last one here. Do you like these? Yeah. They look pretty, right? Yeah, I like them. Yeah. 
these this metal this metal is called brass and it looks <laughs> kind of golden just all by itself. It yeah. It's not golden, so. No, no, no. I mean, it comes out of the earth looking this way when when it's mined. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That's that's all. Honestly, that's all I needed. No. I believe brass is mine. Like is it? Can chat answer that question? Yeah. Word okay, isn't there. brass a combination of a nope. No, in here. That's an alloy? Yeah, it's an alloy of copper and zinc. Interest? That's what I thought. Oh. Okay, and then twist. Tells tight. Okay, good. Now when you're twisting the screws, you have to twist in what's not call a star formation or crisscross. So you go from that no not done to, not done to that one. You go from this one over here. Now you do this one. This is I know that one's that one's I messed up, so I have to undo it first. This is great. Excuse me. Excused. Okay. Next one. God, how do people stream with kids? Actually, very helpful, though. Is this your second computer that you've worked on? Yeah. Yeah. Are, the, are these big, big open computers without the box? Are they the prettiest ones? Mm-hmm. Did on the kitchen table, no, right? Not funny. Oh no, you're right. It's not funny. Hold on, I have to fix this one. We built it on the kitchen table, right? Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna go get. I need to go get something. I, I like, hope it's food. I feel bad no, for how long I've kept you here with my slowness. It's it's something that I think uh, it's purple. Oh okay. I, think this is gonna be I hope not. I want it to be really short and done. Okay, can you finish this one? I can make it short and done. Here, okay. Use your magic fairy wand and finish. Thank you. Heck yeah. Oh my god, this looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay, now. Uh, what are what? Um, I'll look in a second. I'll tell you. Those are things I'm not going to need. They're uh, brackets. They're what? They're they're clips. They're clips, but not for your hair. It's clips to hold different. Um, because they were in a bag of things I might need. These are great questions, though. It's okay. You can go to bed. You help. You help. You help, you want to? Help. Okay. Well, then here you can connect to the next one of these. Uh, that one. I'll show you where to put in a second. I just have to. Okay. You got it. You got it. Go to bed, baby. Sounds good, but just. I think Mama Mama's saying it's very late, so you need to go to bed. All right, we ooh, ooh, ooh. hold on, Eric. It's been on up close on the monument for too long. <laughs> bring that bring that thing up to the front of the camera. She's so dusty. Oh, Tove, did you see the question from Frederick Polk? They asked what I did that one working it? on. What's up, Snatch? How you doing? Or if you had a chance to answer, but he said, "What build are you currently working on on your on your empty atlas?" Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be for uh, the next gen parts. So that's going to be uh, Intel thirteenth gen. Once I get um, some, uh, hopefully MSI makes uh, another blacked out motherboard because that's what will be going in it, and. Um, yeah, there's going to be some custom panels on there with uh, the Yulbis logo because there is unfortunately no Yulbis logo on the original Atlas, and I had to fix that. So. 
There's no Yulebeast logo on most cases. I know. So I, it, it's, I hope there's one on Calypso, but if there's not, I will fix that too. I'm going to figure out some way to do something. I think the laser etching would be really cool. It's just a, another step in the process that you have to do. So Yeah. And it, I, you have to do it after it's painted, you know? Oh, that sounds tricky. Yeah, doing it after it's painted sounds really hard. Yeah. I'm freaking out a little bit. Why? What's wrong? Can't find the cables that I need to go into the places that I need them to go. Mixing and matching cables. You can't do that. Oh, my goodness. That's so weird. How did this work before the extent? Oh, do I just have the wrong extension cable? That could be it. Okay. Hey, Pixel, what are you up to, man? Did you see the Calypso? Were you here for that? Or do I have to reshow it? <laughs> Snap says, really great color. Thanks, bro. I don't know if you're talking about the white or the purple, but I will accept either. This purple. I mean, the light doesn't really. The lighting in the camera is not. Uh, we're not set up for color accuracy at the moment, but. Yeah, I'm. This was done by. Um, a real local, a local guy that did mostly like rims. Um, and uh, we had him make, just like we just gave him a couple monuments where there's like, paint it whatever color you want. And he painted one of them like this purple color. And I just thought it was so dope. Unfortunately, it wasn't really like replicable. Like you couldn't really make do it again. Um, so it's sort of just like a one-off thing. Um, So, but yeah, I, I always really like this purple. That's all I looked up. You saw a little bit of it. A oh, pixel says, I saw a little bit of it. It looks awesome. Uh, I'll definitely be going back and watching it again. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll show more. You just finished slow VOD. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's up, Ben? How you doing? Sniffs is really happy you do a new batch of Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. The uh, it's uh, it's uh, it it was hard doing it this time around, um, but um, I'm glad I did it. And uh, they're hopefully we're going to be start shipping, or I will start shipping them out by the end of next week. So Ben is still, so Ben, what, where, where are you right now again? Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Oh, you did? Oh, dude, that's awesome, man. Thank you. That makes me real. That makes me real happy. What's uh, what was your order number? Maybe I'll send you something special. Fort Lauderdale filming the Aurora Spotlight. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And is that the, uh, is that the case that you've been showing on your Instagram? For your, for people that haven't seen the, uh, Ben has been working on this really 
cool uh, red case um, for a streamer that he's yet to tell anyone who it's, who is actually for yet. But um, it's a really, really cool red looking case. Um, the uh, and I I think it's interesting because like you don't see that many red PC cases. Um, I know that Height has one, um, but they're kind of recent in that uh, um, they're kind of recent in that uh, coming to market with that product. Um, oh, what's up, Toff man? You look way better now. Yeah, yeah, I got it to work. <laughs> <laughs> that's great what camera is that uh it's just a a6400 oh, okay cool cool this is the first time i'm using it as like a webcam so well it looks great it's focusing it's auto focusing the color is way better i uh i didn't play with any of the settings so i have no idea <laughs> what's uh what's what but hopefully no, it's dude, automatically looks... doing it and there's yeah, my no. dog attacking me <laughs> No, that looks great. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, nice. I love it. Ben, are you filming? Are you filming stuff right now? Or are you, uh, you're, you're putting stuff together? Chris, what type of dog is that again? It's a Belgian Malinois. Here, look at the camera, stupid. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> he doesn't want to. He's, he's camera shy. Look, look, look. Around. Nope. Nope. Okay. No, nah, he's a, he's a good dog. That's my uh, my girlfriend has the other one in the room. We have two oh. of them. It's just. This That's is a story. soccer ball. Yeah. <laughs> we got it last week. Yeah, I imagine that uh, the toys only last so long. About, if we're lucky, three hours. Do you give them? Do you do the? Do you give them the rawhide? Ah, uh, no, I don't give uh, the dogs rawhide. It's yeah. not. It's not good for them. They can choke on it and stuff. So yeah, they, but we didn't. That's like new knowledge, right? Because I remember we always gave my dogs the ride. Yeah, um, it was within the last couple of years. Uh, it was something. Something with that. There that's a bummer because the rawhide lasted forever. Yeah. <laughs> it was a really cheap toy. Wow! Look at that. Damn, Tanner, it looks so good. I'm liking that a lot. Looks, looks, looks heckin' good. <laughs> Got the, uh, wow. there you go. Wow. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Coming together. Last few pieces finishing off this puzzle. I'm I'm super excited. I'm gonna boot this thing up, and we're going straight into Halo. <laughs> boot this thing up. We're going straight into Halo. Yeah. Oh man, we're out. We're 20 minutes past uh, game night already. Hey, priorities. Hey, it First, is 11:20 here. So. Yeah, man. It's uh, late late o'clock. But you know what? How long has the stream been going? Two hours. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm really pumped because I can stream now. You can. I never thought it would be this easy. Right? Yeah, you just set it up and you're like, oh, the same things I use for like a Zoom meeting. Just. <laughs> but now I see my bitrate. Cool. Oh, flush. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Sorry, hang on. There you go. Flush. <laughs> So and that's sad. um option B, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I'll show you why. Because of this. It's for this. Yep. 
Toph, did I give you? I gave you a back plate, right? A uh, water, uh, a water cooled one. Yeah. No. What? I don't. I don't need one. I was. <laughs> I was supposed to give you one. Oh well. Um. Awkward. If you did, I would have probably spent more money. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for not. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. All right. When you if you, when you want one, I have I have a I have a B stock one I can send you. Yeah. Well, this this is uh, like I said, this is going to be my girlfriend's computer. So uh, so she okay. doesn't she doesn't need water cooling. It's just a ten nine hundred K. And... Excuse me. I'll have you know that this is a two forty mil radiator that is going to be water cooling. Actually, never mind, because I upgraded it. Yeah, okay, this could use some water cooling. This is it's a thirty seven hundred X in here. It, it'll appreciate some water cooling. Oh yeah, it'll. it'll do good. But it used to be a thirty six hundred. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're not. We don't need the water cooling. It's just exclusively for fun. Power button is in. Man, I'm getting so pumped. Let's go. Oh wait, but the nugget. Oh, I have to put the nugget on, the power nugget. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the power nugget. Oh no. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, we must undo a step. You uh, I'm so close. Quick guys, fill time, fill time. <laughs> so are those just extensions? Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell. Who I have to have white white extensions. And I was like, oh thank goodness, okay. But the Wait power button's white. Am I not thinking this through correctly yet? Yeah, this goes here. Yep, you're doing it good. No, wait, this goes, okay, this has to come out. Then this goes here. And then these will come like, nya. This will come here. A firm believer of, of, uh, of power positive going in the left and negative going in the right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're goofing. It's actually so much more fun to build a computer with people like streaming than it is uh, like working on something and then like working within this. Also, it's I feel like this is worth mentioning. Uh, the cases that I have in my house are so old. I have one full tower, not 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 mid tower, full tower, like the first hot uh, HAF series from Cooler Master from like. I mean, at this point, it's got to be like, feels like 15 years ago. Wow. Can't be that long, but long time ago. So it's massive. Like tinkering around in those things and doing cable management. and ugh. Not fun. Yes. And now the cable nugget, which hopefully I put on the right way so it spins. That's my dumb yeah. joke. He went away. No. <laughs> He's camera shy. He doesn't like the camera. No, he doesn't. I need to get an arm. Yes. Microphone arm? Uh, camera arm. Mm. I'm going to stream. This makes me. Yeah, I'm going to stream my next. Uh, my next you'll be spilled. Actually, I'll stream oh, my yes. monument build on the uh, yeah, Discord yes, dude. when I do it. Yeah, do it up. Do it up. And you can use your new. There's a new channel for you. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, you have the you have the creator and partner tag. You just click literally. You just click into the channel, and then your everything automatically happens for you. Beautiful. It's pretty incredible, actually. Okay, now how should I route this fan cable? Where are my fan headers here? Oh, you are pump fan. Oh, you have a pump fan spot. Good for you, computer. Is it an AI, AIO pump fan spot? Spot though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like it, at least. That says pump fan. That says, see, before I had a splitter, I just used a splitter. Should I reuse that splitter? It's kind of ugly. But it would let me route and do a little bit of a Batman move and just go up, up, and away. And I do like me some Batman. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go up, up, and away. Let's just hide these all here. It's not janky. It's not janky. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh oh. Man. 
Building computers without pinky fingers would be impossible. <laughs> no. No. We are so close, guys. We're so close. I can taste it. I'll zip tie these together for a second or twist tie these. I honestly, you know what's funny, Eric? I really thought that I could build this in like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was sort of the internal. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you had to build it again, you could probably do it in 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Got these discreetly around the side here. I feel like there's two major camps for the back plate. Camp one is like put it all on display and get it all out there. And camp two is like keep it keep it sneaky, keep it low key. I'm in the I'm in the keep it sneaky camp. So I'm gonna tag this into here. This is gonna be my controller. And then this secondary one. Oh, if only I had myself an LTT Velcro strap or whatever they always pedal. <laughs> it's their screwdriver now. Oh, yeah, yes, they yes, graduated. Yes. Okay, we're just going to do a little tuck back in here. I think. Oh, I love that. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. And then we snippy snap this on. And then, and then, and then. We do. Okay, this is important. This is an important moment. This is an important moment. Okay, how am I going to line this up? How do I want to make this mm -hmm. look the best? I don't even know which way the EK logo is supposed to actually be. I guess it should be shaped that like way, an yeah. This way? Yep. Checking the mirroring on my camera before I <laughs> listen to you guys. Do these twist? Oh, these twist. They should be tight. Okay. Do those come, do those I, come no. off? No, they shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two one, one, one is a definitive no, the other is well. <laughs> well, I mean, they okay. do come off, but they, you know. Oh, my there, goodness. There you go. I like oh that. Oh, my goodness. There we go. And we have, we have, uh oh, we have missing, missing the screws. We have one, two, contact on three and four. Wow, there's so much pressure. Goodness. Oh, it doesn't like these RAM modules. Hang on, that could be an issue. We're going to sw swap this. Oh, you could just go the opposite way, too. That's exactly what we're going to do. And then my pump fan cable is also going to be in the right spot. There, you go. there we go. And I can rotate these to give a little bit more slack. Oh, I, didn't, I wasn't even reading chat. What's up, Pixel? Yes, that was a soccer ball. <laughs> was. I guess I can go like... Huh. This is so interesting. Twisty. Okay, let's figure this out. Can I do that? Will you mm -hmm. be angry at me, pumps? Let's go. I got it. And we're just gonna go directly for the smush. There you go. I just went for the smush. I, I went I went great. all in for the smush. Uh oh. That looks great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now for the screws. And they're, and they're accompanying springs, which is a very interesting. I don't know if, if they really need the springs, but whatever. They think they do. You know, seeing um, the black and white really makes me want to rethink what I'm doing. It, really, oh, it, it looks really good shots. with uh, the black like accents, like with the pump and the mm -hmm. motherboard and the GPU. So I was thinking of getting all white parts, but now... Oh, like, double I'm gonna, maybe I won't. No, the white and black is a cool aesthetic. Yeah. The the white on white is just I mean I it's like hard. it, but 
don't want to spend that much money on parts. Well, that's the thing. It's so much more expensive doing white, all white parts. Yeah. Unless you can, I mean, you could paint them. Like maybe you could, like it's easy enough painting a GPU shroud. Yeah. You know, getting white cables, the white motherboard. Yeah. Like that's, you know. It's limiting. You have the hard. creator board. There's like only a handful of them, isn't there? Uh, it's pretty much just the like, uh, X or Z five. Yeah, the unified five ninety uh vision or vision yeah vision or whatever vision, it is. Yeah. Um, and that's actually like relatively inex not inexpensive, but it's like about the same as any other motherboard now. It's a uh, it's two hundred dollars. So. The um, what is it the uh. AS Rock has the um Oh shoot, where did I put the screw? AS Rocks has a I forgot which board, but a number of their boards are like white and black. Mm-hmm. Almost got my hair caught in my monument fan. <laughs> Just sharing. <laughs> that wouldn't have been funny, but it was funny that you said it. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, what are you looking for? I'm looking for one of the springs that makes the mounting pressure oh, happy. No. Oh. I, I dropped it, it in there. Just shake it. I, I will, sh- I will shake it like a Polaroid picture in a moment, but... Where did it go? Where did it lodge so perfectly? Hello? Maybe I have a backup. Maybe I can avoid dealing with the problem. No. Okay. Why is it that when I lift my Atlas one and then I lift the monument that they almost feels like the monument is heavier? <laughs> what the <laughs> what the butts? I Tom, I don't know. That's actually a good it's probably the weight distribution. It feels like I'm lifting a solid chunk and then it feels like I'm lifting like, oh, that's not that bad. There's a lot of negative space to the Atlas. Like, yeah. The, the monument in total has like a good deal. A good, is a, the monument in total was about 14 and a half pounds of steel. The OG Atlas was, I think, like 20. Hmm. So it's, it's heavier, but like not substantially. It, it doesn't feel heavier. Doesn't feel heavier. Anderson, what, what are you doing now? Now I'm. What would I do without your prompts, man? I'm, I'm lost in the sauce. Uh, right now I'm tightening down these screws, and after I connect the power button, we are ready to do our first boot up on liquid cool. The first boot up of the all white satin monument rocking the AIO with booster backplate version B. Awesome. We are you ready and I'm just hand tightening these. This oh is my favorite my thing actually. My favorite thing so far about this EK AIO, not only the fact that it has a fill port built into the top, which is incredible. Like yeah. I would die good for them. Very good for them. Um and from what I understand is like some of these pumps, if you have the know-how, you can actually take them apart and clean them, you know, after it, if it, it like this thing should run for a decade mm-hmm. or half a decade, at least, I don't know. Like this is just from what I'm hearing here, say from other people. Okay. So I'm just going to go until they're all hand tight, I guess. These two are kind of happy. This one has some play. And by some, I mean lots. I wonder where if all that X of the thermal paste is over there. <laughs> My big spook. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. I haven't even looked up at the camera yet. I haven't even spun around yet. I don't know exactly what this <laughs> what this looks like. I'm, I'm excited to see. I might just keep my head down as I plug in the pump cable, which I'm actually going to tie in where it needs to go and then stuff in the back of the little cable management bay which we should probably start calling the cable management bay 
because that's what it is. Mm. People are like, what about cables? Yeah, we'll show them off or manage them. Be responsible with your cables. Okay, you don't need to be you don't need to be trying to outshine the RGB there, Mr. Cable. I can pressure fit that in there. Wonderful. Yes. Uh, oh, I did have a finishing touch I wanted to do because I have I have I have a few cable combs handy I could use for this. We'll see. We'll get to that. Okay, power button or else. Yeah, let's well, let's try to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> That's a rush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh. You know what? I've done everything so far without a manual, so we got to finish strong. The power connector is around here. Hold on. I can read this. I can't read it. I can't read it. Where's the power connector go? We're so close. We're in the last, we're in the last moments. That's a rainbow. It's... Okay, that's RGB. Oh, okay, so it's over here. I feel like I should know this from memory. I've done this part so many times. I'm sure you're looking right at it. I think so too. I'll just make sure I have enough strength for the or enough length. Um okay, we're gonna do this. Yeah, everyone's like, Tanner will finish the computer so I can go to bed. <laughs> Eric, you um, when you play games with us, is it at your uh, your house or is it at the you'll be shop? I've always wondered this as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's normally it's normally at my house. Okay. Um, I I purposely don't install Steam on any of my work. <laughs> it just I just can't do it. I just can't do it. That's a smart. That's a smart move. Yeah, you gotta. Got to have sep some separation. Yeah, I actually um, decided to do the same thing on this computer because uh, I can only have one of them plugged in at the same, like, uh, a time, right? Mm -hmm. And I had to do a fresh install of Windows um, the other day because my files were just absolutely corrupted. Uh because I overclocked my memory badly. <laughs> and so my, com <laughs> my computer just booted into recovery mode. Um, and I was like, you know what? No games on this computer. I'm not installing Steam. I'm not installing Battle.net. Because this one is supposed to be for work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I feel that. The uh, I've done so many fresh installs of Windows. In fact, I don't even right now. This computer isn't even like have, doesn't even have Windows activated on it. Beautiful. Oh. Tanner is uh, trying to find the. Uh, I found it. I found okay. it because this this indicates on the right USB. This one says audio. It's like front panel audio, which means process elimination tells me it's this. Yeah, it's always the, the two yeah. on the. Eric's like, I can't believe I could just done this myself. There you go. <laughs> Set this thing up to the frigid Canadian North. Why did I do it? Never no, again. No, no. This is this is, great, <laughs> this is this is Tanner's Tanner's experience. I'm sorry for I'm sorry for rushing the ending. Oh. But I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just waiting. Tanner to, plays to, two rounds of Halo, then goes to bed. Hey, good night, guys. Actually, though, I just can't wait to tell tell Ina that her computer is not broken. That's gonna be great. It was never broken, just disassembled. Yeah. You know, I like, I like your attitude towards things, but that's not how everyone sees things all the time. You know. No, no. I, I, you I usable for meeting tomorrow or no? <laughs> That's that's the question. It's it's enhanced. Is that plugged in all the way? Oh, it is. It is. It is. Ah, okay. 
I just need a power cable. We are back. There's like <laughs> Oh man, I missed a bunch of comments. Uh, Frederick says, you'll be question about the monument. Is the motherboard GPU source IO panel structurally necessary besides the GPU support? No, it's not. Just for the GPU support, really. That's all it does. It's actually incredibly weak. Like it's only being held on. That whole like it's kind of like an illusion, sort of. Uh, it's there's a huge amount of material only being held on by two little quarter inch pieces of steel. Um, <laughs> pixel. So Tanner, my oldest daughter has the same pink heart one. That's funny. Eighties plus is giving Tanner a bunch of uh, really good tips. I'm opening up the drawer. Hey, this camera angle looks much better now that I brought it close like that. Oh wow! Look, dude, this is a. Oh, I should let me double click so I can read the chat. <laughs> Eighties plus <laughs> is great commentary. <laughs> Things are really moving along now. I'll take it. I like the white and black look. I do. Yeah. I do. Okay. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way. You got Wrong it, way. buddy. You got it. Now I'm going to open up my, my drawer, which holds my power bar inside it so I don't accidentally kick the reset button like I did last time. Panda builds. Yeah. This is a panda and, build. You're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I not line up the power button in the right spot? Or the PSU switch. No, no, it's not that. Oh. It's, on, it's, on, it's on what I like to call yes. <laughs> 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 however, however, it's just I'm a little off on where I plugged in my nubbins. Darn it, it's the nubbins. I knew it. Come on, Nubbins. The yeah, question is, sure. kind of, I wonder if I can lay this on the... Yeah, totally. Yes, wonderful. Okay. Now, oh, and I can see the Nubbins so much more easily, too. Okay. So <laughs> <I> wanna... <laughs> Am I getting grilled by ADS? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh... I could not get the custom cables in time, okay? That was my fault. That was idiot. That was my fault. The um, the extensions are actually supposed to be hidden somehow tactically. Okay, there's tactically. I'm I'm working on getting him some. Uh, oh, some I bet it's up things. here. I bet it's up here. Hold on. Maybe it's these ones. Oh, it's definitely these ones. Oh yeah, my tummy's my tummy's rumbling, and not just because I'm hungry. It's definitely these ones. Hundred percent. Do they have Taco Bell in Canada? Yes, but. I have never ordered Taco Bell. Uh, one, one time, one time, one time, one time, one time. I have. One time. I think I'm just leaving. I'm better. just leaving a, a dishes uh, comment pinned to the video. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, "Oh no!" To remind me of this beautiful moment that I discovered my hands don't fit that way. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh, on, man. man. At least it's entertaining. <laughs> Tanner, I believe in you. I, I'm glad. Okay, there we go. 
No. Oh. Can I? Can I just? Is there? Is there a power? Is there a start button on the motherboard? You know you what? You can also do this. I mean, right. if you hit the wrong one, it's okay. If you accidentally short two of the other things together. See, Eric, I need Calypso so I can get this mess of a PC. Off my desk. Ooh, it's but, so yeah. It's so cumbersome. We did it, boys. <laughs> Pop, I'm more than happy. I will make it my mission to get you a Calypso. But check out uh, check it. out Tanner's build. It's it's working. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, Tanner. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. What a mission. Now, now time to unpin Adish's comment. <laughs> no pixels. Here. I'm in Halo. So let's, let's check this out. Look, look at this. So here you go. This is vanilla. You're going to see vanilla monument versus monument 2.0. All right, here you go. That's awesome. Monument 2.0 spins more easily because I don't have the rubber feet on it yet. Yeah. Custom cables versus extensions. Get your extensions. Cable mod. Mod 1. What's the other one we recommend? Our, our main guy, Mainframe uh, Customs, mainframe. who's in the Discord. Yeah. Backplate versus OG plate. I, dude, this I like this. I like yeah. this, and it's so it's quieter too. Like I mean, not neither both of them are idling right now, but knowing that it would be quiet even under load is really nice. And not mm -hmm. putting my fingers into spinning blades is nice too. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe nice maybe there'll that. be some uh, Yobi's fan covers in the future. There could be. You never know. Maybe. I don't. <laughs> we'll just like, we'll just retreat this. You never saw a thing. Never... Did you just bridge the gap? Look at that. Okay, That's let's great. take final comments and let's wrap this thing up and move move these games downstairs. I mean, sorry, Haley. Yes, we need to see a BIOS screen. You can't just show some lit RGB. Things <laughs> <laughs> <It's been happening. laughs> Yeah, so I did. I did do my yeah. I did, I did do my switch up top on the OG monument because of where my um, because of where my how my desk setup is. It's much easier for me to reach forwards to this than to get to the bottom lower portion. Yeah. Oh, I'm really Respect. curious now. You know what? I can't hear. Here, ready? We're gonna. This hopefully will not mess up the stream. I'm going to... It's it's totally going right. to... It's totally going to mess up the stream. No, I've got <laughs> totally it. Watch. Hang, on. It Hang on, watch. Oh, oh, just touching the fan. Hang on. Hold on. Wait, this one connects to the hip bone. Watch, watch. You're making me do this? Totally We're going to end the stream on this note, okay? I, either the stream ends forcibly... Or we end it on this note, okay? <laughs> so there's the monitor. Okay. We're gonna disconnect from this. I can't hear you guys right now, okay? I can't see you guys right now, but you see what I see. We're gonna plug in. Just catch us on fire. <laughs> to plug the light in. in three, two, one. Blue screen of death. <clears throat> three, two, one. Three, three, two, one. Hold on, hold on. Mouse, moving the mouse dongle. Wiggling the mouse. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Maybe turn it off and turn it back on. Hello. Hey, Tanner. Can I not plug in the GPU? <laughs> I may not plug in the GPU. Okay, we'll get to it. You know what? I'd like to present though an alternative theory, which is look. There is lit RGB on the RAM sticks. I just, <laughs> what evidence? I this is enough evidence from there. Oh boy. 
looks like I have some behind the scenes work to do to make sure Ian still has a working computer for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> Can hear you guys again. Okay. Beautiful. Good. Well, I think you did a great job. It only took wait three hours. A successful three hours, so yeah. Why do I have no audio? What do I have? To, I told you I was going to mess it up. Yeah. We can hear you. Your yeah. mic still works. There we go. I'm back. Okay. All right. Well, Tanner, we, we are, we're proud of you. We're very proud of you. We think that Lovely. We think you did a splendid job. The uh, uh, big, on a personal note, Tanner, thank you for putting together, <laughs> thank you for putting together the stream. Um, this was uh, this was a little longer than I anticipated, <laughs> but two hours I, forty minutes. I think that uh, I think that the results speak for themselves, and this was a really fun opportunity to get to show everyone Me too. Um, a bunch of products uh, that um, that we don't normally get hands on time, sort of like exploring and showing with people, and I think that's mm -hmm. really cool. And I think that we need to do it. Uh, we definitely need to do that more. And I think we will. Yep. 100%. You forgot to put it in the oven and take it out. That's probably why it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely right. <laughs> yep. I actually wanted to, but then when I opened up the oven, like it was already warm and I got nervous, even though it was off. So I was like, uh, it was already warm. I gotta say, did the monument without uh without the the rubber feet included on it is a big is a big uh, upgrade. I could spin this so easily. Yeah. I can't I can't spin this one at all. <laughs> That's a, is, just shows how good the rubber feet work when they are. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, nice smooth paint job. Thank you for the nine people who have stuck steady throughout this whole thing. Thank you to anyone who's stuck in through Instagram. I know if you're showing up now, uh, I turned off the audio because it's not working through my TV anymore, but we did it. We did it. And Restream worked pretty flawlessly, too. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a pretty, were, good, uh, pretty good system. If there were any Twitter comments, I don't think Twitter people can leave comments, but if there was Facebook comments, I think they, they show up after the stream. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, ADH Plus. Hey, Snef Computer Designs, better repost for good handshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i'm gonna have to figure out why her thingy didn't post but i don't know hopefully the gpu is happy i'm sure it's fine i'll help you tomorrow if you can't figure Cut it out power no 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 we'll be good okay well let's call it a wrap uh hold on let's 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 hear hold on wait wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's let's call it let's call it a wrap and then I'm going to play a sick animated video to end it. Let's try it. Hold on. Let's see. All right. We, we good to end this. Tof, yeah, thank you for joining <laughs> us. Eric, thank you. And I'm going to randomly click. This, these are all probably countdowns for a new show starting. But OK, let's go with this one. Ready? And. It's definitely a countdown. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs>